What's up guys, the disembodied voice of Alan Brock coming to you today talking about one of my new favorite pieces of gear and that's the Ziontech Crane V2. Had it for a couple weeks now and when you combine it with a camera like the Panasonic GH5, the amount of stabilization you can get from uh, this type of setup is truly amazing. It really pushes the boundaries of uh, what's possible for amateur video like this. I've got a review coming of the gimbal itself, but I wanted to touch on today about how I balance it. Balancing the gimbal takes a few minutes, but it's very important to give you the best performance out of your gimbal. It's going to give you the most stable footage, and it's going to make sure that you don't burn up the, the motors on the gimbal. It's going to give you the best battery life. And like I said, it takes a few minutes, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm going to balance it here in just a second. But I wanted to go over two things really quickly before we balance it. Uh, as you can see, I've got the gimbal perfectly balanced here. And what you want is there are three axes that you balance it in. You've got roll, left and right, pitch, up and down, and then yaw, where it spins on that bottom motor there. And the pitch, you actually have to balance it twice with the camera pointed vertically and the camera pointing horizontally. And when you know you have it perfectly balanced, you can tip the camera up or down and it will stay. Any left or right tip and it's going to want to return almost to center there. So that's when you know you have it perfectly balanced. Two things before we balance it here. One, if your gimbal does not come with a tabletop tripod here, I highly recommend it. Uh, my gimbal didn't, so that's a little Manfrotto. It costs like 30 bucks on B&H and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Second thing, make sure you are balancing your camera in the orientation that you're gonna be shooting in. What I mean by that is I have several times balanced my camera with the lens cap on. You can see just that amount, how much it changes the balance. So of course, when I balance it perfectly with the lens cap on, I take it back off and the camera's out of balance. Your screen, if it flips out and you use it flipped out, make sure it's that way when you balance it. If you have a zoom lens like this, it's a 12 to 35, shoot it or balance it with the focal lengths you're going to shoot at. This is 12 millimeters. You can see if I go even to 18, it places everything out of balance. Make sure the battery's in there. If you use an external mic, make sure that's attached because you will ruin your balance if you change just the slightest thing on this. So make sure you get a tabletop tripod. Balance it in the orientation you're going to be shooting in. I'm going to remove the camera here and go over how to balance it. Okay, so I've got the camera detached here and I changed all of these sliders here so that everything's going to be completely out of balance. Um, in this sliding plate here, this little sliding uh, attachment point here, what they recommend is placing your camera on here as close to this motor as you can. So I'm just going to attach the camera really quickly. Okay, so now that I've got the camera attached, I don't know if you can see, but it's just, there's a little bit of space over here, but it's as close to this motor as it can get. And as you see, it is completely out of balance there. Now there are four points where you can adjust the balance. Let's tilt the camera up here. On the lower, this plate here slides up and down, and this is the set screw that uh, unlocks that. This motor over here has a set screw. Same for the motor that is in this orientation behind the camera. And then the yaw motor down here has a set screw. So what I like to do is actually adjust the roll, the left and right roll first. So the way you do that is unloosen this screw back here. And as you can see, the camera right now, it's heavy on the right side. So I'm gonna slide this that way until we get it balanced. And you can just leave this loose back here. That's a little bit quicker instead of retightening it every time. Okay, so it looks like I've got the roll pretty, pretty well adjusted here. I may need to move it back to the right just a little bit. And the way you can kind of test this is just get it out of balance on one side and see how it does. And that pretty much returns to level there. So the next thing we want to do is take care of the up and down pitch of the camera here. Now there are two adjustments you make. One, the camera uh, uh, as it's pointed horizontally and two, as the camera is pointed vertically here. 
So first we're going to take care of the horizontal orientation and as you can see right now when I let go of the camera it's very front heavy so we need to slide the camera back. To do that on this mounting plate you, you loosen this little screw down here and just slide it back and forth. Little adjustments go a long way so I'm just balancing it. That's pretty close right there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that. I may need to fine tune it in just a second. Now we want to adjust the camera in the vertical orientation. And when I slide, when I spin it around, you can see that the camera right now is very top heavy. So we need to adjust this screw so that it is not. So I'm going to slide it back toward me here. Okay, so our goal with pitch adjustments, once we get it adjusted horizontally and vertically, is that we want to be able to point the camera up or down and have it stay, have it not move back to center. So as you can see, that's pretty good, stays pretty well. All right, so our final adjustment is this motor down here, the yaw, the kind of left and right uh, spinning as you're looking at the camera from top down. So to do that, um, we actually need to pick the gimbal up and hold it um, horizontally here. So to do that, I'm actually going to have to flip the screen in because without that, if I pick it up, it's going to hit right there, if you can see that. So this is going to completely mess up your left and right balance, but don't worry about that. That is already balanced. We know that. What we're going to do is when I hold it completely horizontally here, you see this motor here, how it uh, tilts up like that. We want it to be completely horizontal, completely level with the ground there. So in this case, you can see that it's actually heavy on the camera side. So it's difficult to say to see, but we need to slide, make this adjustment and slide this back to the motor. So I'm going to loosen that, push it back there and hold it back up let it kind of balance. It's still a little heavy camera side, so I'm going to push it back again. Getting closer there. Okay, so once that settles pretty horizontal there, you are perfectly balanced. Flip your screen back out and you are ready to shoot stable video. That is going to give you the best results for stability, keep these motors lasting long, keep your batteries lasting a long time. It takes a few minutes, once you get the hang of it though, really easy, it's gonna give you great results. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.